Welcome to my video. Today we're learning. So this is like a classroom setting we got right here. I got a ruler to enforce good classroom behavior. I imagine like teachers got to deal with Johnny at the back jerking himself off. Can't do that kind of stuff here. We're, we're learning. Anyways, I've been learning about Serbia. Fascinating country. Fascinating culture. Great people. I've been learning some things about the culture. Some things just shocked me. Right Now some of the facts that I learned about the Serbian culture were so interesting that I thought I gotta share these with people because it's always interesting to learn about other people's culture, whether whether it's Albanian culture, Philippines, Vietnam, you know, you get the deal. You're here, you're interested. Let's get into it. Now, the first fact I learned is that this map right here, the one we use in geography class, it's not the map they use in Serbia. They don't recognize Kosovo as a separate state. They think it's Serbia. You know, Kosovo declared its independence in 2008. And the U.S. might recognize it as a state, but Serbia, Serbian people, they're like, no. If they see you with that map while you're in Serbia, they're going to be like, come here, buddy. This, this map is for people with small peepees. Get you this map right here. And the map they're going to give you is they'll, they're going to show Serbia and Kosovo is not there. Because Kosovo to them is part of Serbia. Serbia. So at first I was kind of shook. I was like, what? They don't recognize Kosovo as a separate state. Because in geography class, I learned Kosovo is here, Serbia is here, Albania is here. I'm like, okay, I accept this. This is normal. And then then I learned Serbia doesn't recognize Kosovo as a separate state. And I'm like, okay, is Serbia the only one that doesn't recognize Kosovo as a separate state? No. There's other countries that don't recognize uh, Kosovo as a separate state, including Russia and some other countries I'll list here. So if you're in Serbia and you got the map that shows Kosovo as a separate state, don't show it to the locals. You might get jumped. I'm just kidding. I don't know how they'll react to it. Probably they'll be cool about it. They'll sit you down. They'll teach you. Listen, son, this is our land. This is There is no Kosovo. Serbia, they're Serbians. So, yeah, make sure you got the right map. You're paying attention. Good job. I don't have to use this. This actually hurts. Anyways, the next fact I learned about Serbia is that Serbian men are very tall. They're giants. I got some facts to share with you. In Japan... The average height for a male is 5 feet 7 inches. In Iran, 5'8". In Mexico, 5'6.5". In the U.S., supposedly they're tall around here, 5 foot 9 is the average height for a male. But in Serbia, average height is 5 foot and 11 inches. 5'11", and that's the average. That means there is above average and there is usually a lot of people above average. That means you're going to be competing against guys that are 6'2", 6'3", 6'4", you know? So you're going to move to Serbia, and you're like average height in the U.S. You're 5'11". Are you going to go there? You're going to make some friends. Like, they're going to be giants, probably. And you're going to be like, yo, friends, let's go out. Get some girls. Let's go to the club. Then you'll go out. You're going to be the shortest guy in that group. I'd be pissed. I'd be thinking, man, in the U.S., everybody was my height. Or shorter. Now I'm dealing with these giants. Oh. Now the next fact about Serbia is about the younger people. Now in the United States, when you turn 19, 20, and especially 21, you're pushed by your parents to find your own apartment, be independent, you know, get out of the house. You're urged to get out of the house. This is a gen generally the case with most Americans. But in Serbia, that's not the case. Parents don't mind you staying uh, 20, 21. At least this is what I read, 21, 22. Young people are, it's normal for them to stay with, with their parents. And when guys and girls in the United States do that, when they stay with their parents, they're considered losers. They're, they're shamed by other people, shamed by their friends. They're like, you're still living with your parents? Oh, man, that's such a, come on, man, get your act together. Now, in Serbia, it's totally normal. There is no shaming. There is no stigma for a guy or a girl to stay beyond 21 with their parents. It's, it's totally okay. Their mindset is, from what I read, is that, you know, you need a good job before you move out. You can't go out like Americans and work at Target, Walmart, and work two jobs this, just to pay rent. SIT will support you. We're going to look out for you until you're secure, which is such a good, good mindset to have. This whole stigma in America, I've always felt pressure when I was like 21, 22, living with my parents. I've always felt, I always felt so much pressure, like, oh man, everybody is judging me. There's so much pressure for me to get out and have my own apartment. And let's face it, 20, you're a kid. 19, you're still a kid. 21, you start to get some, some brain, you know. At least that was in my case. 
I think this is something that we should steal from the Serbian culture. It would help out a lot of young guys. Another fascinating thing I learned about Serbian culture is that there is not that many retirement homes there. Unlike the United States where they just push old people into retirement homes. They're like, yo, we got to get rid of you. Just like this is a general rule. Of course, there are exceptions, like I said. But generally, older people in the, in the United States, they're pushed to uh, retirement homes, nursing homes, and they just leave them alone. But in Serbia, the younger people take care of the older people. They take care of their parents. They take care of their grandpas, grandmas. This is something that surprised me. And I looked it up. I Googled how many retirement homes are in Serbia. Very few. I don't know how they do it there, how they take care of their parents or their grandparents, if they just live in their own home and they just go to their house, buy them groceries, help them out with the house stuff, or they live together. I'm not sure about that, but I know this was so, this kind of made me happy. I'm like, oh my God, this is so awesome. They don't just throw out their parents. They don't, they actually care for them when they get older. And this is like the kind of thing that I wish was here more. Of course, there's a lot of Americans that take care of their parents. I'm just talking about the general general case, like more people are pushed in nursing homes in America, more people are not, more people don't respect old people in America, they don't take care of the elderly. And I wish we would take some of that from Serbia or other cultures and, you know, adopt it here in the United States. But that's not going to happen because the message that's sent to consumer culture is very different. The next fact about Serbian culture is how they handle Christmas. In the United States, Christmas is all about gifts. You get gifts for your parents, you get gifts for your sister, brother, cousin, everybody. It's just more about gifts than getting together. Getting together is secondary. But in Serbia, Christmas is not commercial. Yeah, they get uh, there's still Santa Claus there, so they get gifts for the kids. But when it comes to the adults, it's not about the gift. The focus is more on getting together than exchanging gifts. Grandpa, cousin, grandma, you know, they talk about good stuff, smoke some cigars. Versus America, it's very focused on gifts. Oh yeah, and for some reason, their Christmas falls on January 7th, which is very odd. I don't have that much information on that. I don't know why it falls on January 7th. I gotta read more about that. But if somebody knows, let me know in the comments. Anyways, I'll be visiting there in the next couple of months. So if you want to see some vlogging videos, some story, travel story videos, subscribe. If not, if you enjoy these kind of facts, I'll be making more of these facts. Maybe about Serbia, Albania, or some other cool country that I'm interested in. So subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Have a great day.